had some good progress progress today. Let's look at what we got. Um, this morning I tightened down all of the connections on the battery underneath the panel here. Kick connected up all the high power cables to the BMS. Hooked uh, those high power cables up to the inverter and got those locked in. So the battery, the DC side of the system is pretty much done. Um, I'm gonna hook up the BMS to my laptop and see if we can close the contactors. See the fault light isn't on. It came on when it first turned on, but the fact that it's not on now is a good thing. So let's see what we can do next. Five eights. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I just uh, imported the configuration file, the date change, so I know that it's in there. I just went out of service lockout. Uh, let's check the dashboard. We have a fault. Okay, let's check on this. Um, pilot state mismatch. I saw that one before. I'm not sure what that one is. Let's see if we clear faults and see what happens. Okay, cool. So it did the auto um, connect on boot. That was one of my changes. Great. So the contactor is closed and there's no faults and everything is working. So now um, that means we have a working BMS. Um, we have the inverter hooked up, um, although that's not on yet. Uh, we got to do grid connection there. Um, so we can start configuring the solar converter. Cool. Well, I'm happy. This is working. Good progress. Nice. Hey, we should build one. Yeah, even then, I will never make this. Very cool. You know? Yeah. This is pretty like, amazing. Whoa. God, so Unbelievable. How does it live here? What's up, buddy? Coming after you, Joe. He's got his sights on me. It's only that's just the thing. Just like us, all of us, we only get more amazing. Okay, take two. Apparently I had a booger sticking out of my nose, so we gotta just redo that one. Um, okay, so here's the trench. Not much happened since yesterday. Uh, we've come to realize that this conduit here, hey doggy, uh, this conduit here is not uh, large enough to get all the wires through. So we're gonna get another another conduit to come in. We're gonna put, so there'll be two in this in this ditch here. We're gonna need this box, which is gonna go right here. And we're gonna basically combine them and then, um, so the wires will be coming up through this one. There's another raceway for that one and then they'll combine up into here to go into the battery room. The reason why we need all that space for wires is because we're essentially moving all of these circuits into the battery room. So this panel is essentially gonna be the meter, the main breaker, and all these circuits, we're gonna wire nut and put some new wire to go down and through here and put it into the battery room so we can do essentially whole house backup. We may have a few breakers here of some things that we're not gonna uh, back up in the long run. So that's the next steps. That's what we can do. Okay, let's try it again. There's, there's this wire that's cutting the links and apparently we need to cut more wire. Now. Yeah, let me actually show you. <laughs> this is helpful. So, okay. Okay, so taking into account everything that needs to go from the house to the garage, we've only laid two Whoa. inch pipe and we are obviously overfilled. So the good news is the wire's all cut and organized. 
The trench is still open and we have new conduit to feed so that we could split these in half and run half. So we'll half. do two conduits rather than one. Yep, we make our lives easier. Genius. And that's it, that's where we're at. Yeah. Nice prototype. Yeah, it yeah. was a... All right, we got the second piece of conduit in. We glued it all up. It runs all the way down here. Goes into the area with the panel. And we're about ready to start fishing wire through. Here we go. Should have a total of six sixes. Oh well, we need to guide the wire in. Make it all pretty. Make it a happy little monster. Got to pet it, smooth it, it out. Pet it. Brush, brush, brush it its out. hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's start making our way over here. Somebody's going to need to guide through that unattached pipe. I got some lube. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot actually. Yeah. Be ready for it. Hey. No way. 